We are here at St. Francis College and I am just so excited to talk to you about what it means to study at St. Francis College and it's right next to Manhattan in the middle of Brooklyn. There's so much history. It's amazing. I'm just still trying to grasp everything that's around me. We're going to go around the campus. We're going to talk to some amazing people here and I'm going to help you understand if you are one who is looking for education around the state of New York, around Manhattan. How does it feel to be here, study here, live the life and be part of the culture? So join me and we're going to have an exciting time. College. In 1858, Bishop John Lachlan, who was the bishop, uh, first bishop of Brooklyn, invited two Irish Catholic Franciscan brothers, Brother John and Brother Vincent, who were in County Galway. So St. Francis has been international oh, from the beginning, uh, invited them to come, and they opened up an academy on Court Street between Baltic and Butler, just 15 minute walk from here. Because St. Francis grew over time and we moved SFC forward, we actually started educating the veterans who were coming back from World War II to, due to the GI Bill of Rights. We became co-educational and we grew out of our space, our campus on Court Street. So we moved here to 180 Remsen Street, the current site of St. Francis College. And this is where we grew enrollment from 1,500 students to upwards of 2,600 students during the 60 years that we were here. But we're at a pivotal moment in the history of the college because our enrollment is expanding. We have a comprehensive approach to welcoming international students to St. Francis and our programs are increasing. So we needed to serve students and be more student centric. So we are moving SFC forward into a brand new state of the art campus built for students with students in mind. And we're moving and opening in the fall of 2022. So any international student who's going to start their college careers at St. Francis will be in this new state of the art complex. And we are so thrilled about it. That's amazing. President Dr. Miguel Martinez signed started in the summer of 2017 and during his inauguration he actually took his speech and put it into a word cloud and when he put it into the word cloud look what came up biggest largest and most prominent students make no mistake about it the core and center of everything that we do here at St. Francis is built on students and that's what the world needs now. All right, so we are now here talking to the Assistant Dean of the Career Offices at St. Francis. Hello. Jared Hello. Hello. Uh, Jared, please tell our students a little bit about how Career Services works at St. Francis. What can they expect uh, sure. coming into the office? So first of all, welcome. Um, good to see some of you virtually. Uh, a little bit about St. Francis and the office that we run here. We, our philosophy is simple. We want to prepare students to be career ready and be ready for the workforce. So the, the, focus point, the focal point is really thinking about how we can really cultivate the, the, the surrounding services for students to ensure that they are ready and for, the, for any workforce, whether or not it's domestically or internationally, whether in the US or at home. So the way how we want to start off with is really preparing more customized industry specific advising model that allow the advisor to connect with you based on the industry interest that you want to be in. So an example of that will be we have students who are interested in accounting finance. We will have that as a dedicated advisor working with students about what does it take to get into the industry from day one. So maybe for first year students, they can think about any industry programs that they want to pursue for a sophomore and for junior, they can think about internship opportunity they want to explore and for senior, how can they get ready for the workforce um, to pursue the opportunity, whether or not it's graduate school or for full-time opportunity in the industry. So what it does is, is providing industry specific tips and advice, insight, what does it take to get into the professions, 
in all of those aspects in one wraparound services. And that also will be the same model for any other industry like healthcare sectors, media and communications. It also include many other aspects of the industry as well. So we have designated a set of employers that work closely with you for all those opportunities that you might be interested in pursuing. All right. So, uh, Gerard, can you tell us about the type of jobs that are available in the area and, and what do students typically get into? What types of jobs and fields? Sure, absolutely. So one of the beauty about St. Francis College is we are located in New York City. So New York City is our backyard, backyard right? So the, the beauty about that is many employers have opportunity, not just in the summer experiences where some of the students who are pursuing opportunity in a university outside of New York City area might not be able to access during the semester. So for us, the advantage of that is many students can take advantage of not just summer internship opportunity, but they can also explore for fall and spring during the semester for pursuing opportunity and experiences. So some of the example of employer can be in variety industry. We are obviously the financial capital of the world. So obviously many of those financial services sectors and industry accounting, finance, technology company have opportunity available for for students. So an example could be some of the largest banking institution like JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, and any other like Moody's and so forth. We have a great partnership with S&P Global. Um, they just awarded one of their award for their support and their partnership with us. But besides the finance industry, there's also many other. We have fashion capital in the world. So many fashion industry also have opportunity available for students. Along with the healthcare sector, we have very robust healthcare systems. So you may hear some other video in the future that students may be pursuing opportunity in nursing in health promotion and sciences where they work in different hospital system and setting. Some of the hospitals may include NYU Langone. We also have Memorial and Ketterings. We also work with the New York Hospital Health and Hospital Systems to allow students to gain experiences whether or not a research, um, nursing, and many other opportunity related to healthcare sectors as well. Others opportunity can also be in the not-for-profit community space. Many of those can be in relation to, you know, not-for-profit organizations, art entertainment industry. So any of the media organization that you might heard of, NBC, ABC, Disney, uh, you know, Vi Viacoms, uh, MTV. Those are example company that you can also pursue as well. We are fortunate to also have many great sports industry. Some of our students. Um, has successfully navigating opportunity work at the, the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, someone just got a job at Madison Square Garden uh, as a student associate, who are international student actually. So those are example of things that you can pursue while you're pursuing experiences here at San, at San Francis. And I think what makes it different is that we have a very customized, personalized approach. So what we do is we work with students and understanding what they're looking for and really trying to find opportunity to make connections for them as well. So hope that you will choose us as one of the destinations for your education pursuit. Okay, so we are at St. Francis and this is the wonderful library. And we are joined here by Romello Rogers from Admissions. How are you, Romello? Good, good. How are you doing? Doing great. Thank you so much for joining us in our video. And, and I appreciate the time. Yeah, of course. Anything. Anything for you guys. So the one thing that I always like to talk to our audience about is what's beyond admissions so you work in the admissions office and you know our students are always focused on what boxes do i need to check in terms of admissions especially when it's a school in the u.s there's a lot of anxiety right oh my god i have the f1 visa and but then usually they only realize after they come here that there are a few things beyond admissions that i should care about and think about would love to hear your thoughts on that uh, as to how they should be even thinking about it. Definitely. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my experiences as well, because I am an alumnus of St. Francis College. Uh, whenever I talk to students, they're going to think that college is just going to classes and going home. It's all about the grades. It's all about I got to go to college to make sure I get a good job and make a good career out of myself. You also have to be thinking about the student aspect as well, because there is a student, um, a student life aspect to college. It's not just going to classes and going home, but it's also getting involved 
what can I get involved with? Do I want to get involved with any uh, cultural groups that, that pertain to my culture or any culture that I yeah. want to learn more about? Uh, academic groups, uh, my major or anything I would like to know more about, special interest groups, anything that I'm just interested in, anime, video games, traveling, whatever the case may be, as well as Greek life. So students need to understand that when they come to college, it's not just about getting the grades. It's not just the papers. It's not just the, prof the professors, but it's also who am I going to meet in my classes? Who am I going to meet in these student groups that mm. will elevate my, uh, my student experience in college? Because I tell students all the time, college is what you make out of it. Your college experience is what you're going to make out of it. And then if That's you think amazing. that you're just going to focus on the grades, focus on the classes, you're not going to be enjoying yourself as much as a student that's involved and that's involved in their community. Yeah, and, and that's such a great thought. And especially with Manhattan right yes. next to you, I yeah. mean, there's so much life beyond yes. the school, right? Yeah. Uh, how do prospective students get to know about all of this at, say, St. Francis and, and things around here? Is there a way for them to to know what's campus life and student life like, like Indian students, what's, what organizations, student bodies there are? That are uh, that they can be part of. Well, there's a couple of things that they, that they can get involved with. Uh, if they if the college has a student life campus or a student life uh, or a student affairs department, you can go over there and say, "Hey, I would like to get involved," or "Hey, I would like to know uh, what's offered outside this college campus." They can also look at work study opportunities because most likely you have a work study job. It's not just yeah. going to be sitting at the desk, but they're going to say, "Travel out." go to this place, go to that place, or I have an event uh, in Manhattan, I have an event in Brooklyn, some uh, somewhere that's next to the campus that I would like you to be a part of. Uh, my main thing is, and especially if a student is international or even out of state, you just have to really be involved in the community and take as much advantage of the environment as you possibly can. And New York City is a melting pot. It is a melting pot. Uh, and it's easy travel. You can, you can take a cab, you can take yeah. a subway, you can take a bus, you can even walk, you can even take a bike. Everything is easily accessible. So uh, our motto at St. Francis is uh, New York City is our campus and Brooklyn is our backyard. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been, I've been here traveling for the last two or three days and it's so accessible. Yeah. It's amazing. You yes. take a tea from here and literally in, what, 15 minutes yeah. you're in Manhattan, yes. right? But then as a student, I'm sure there are so many opportunities to yes. network with companies, yes. network with other people, just even before you graduate yes. to know how you can get jobs and get into it. So talk to me a little bit about, yeah. about that. And St. Francis is really intentional about uh, getting students these opportunities. It starts with the Career Center and it goes, uh, it, well, it starts from the president's office and then uh, it trickles down to the Career Center. We have events such as Terrier Talks. Volpe lectures, where we hear from prestigious people that were alumnus of St. Francis College or have a great relationship with St. Francis College. Just the other day, we had a diversity championship award for our basic companies or individuals that had a great relationship with us and will give students internships, that will give students job opportunities. Uh, we have we have domestic students, we have out-of-state students, and we also have international students as well that will take advantage of all these different internships. Because because we understand, yes, college, you're going for the papers, you're going for the grades, you're also going for the student life as well. But what's beyond college? What's after college? And you have to start thinking about your career. So then that's when students start looking at internships. That's when students start looking at job opportunities. And in New York City is the perfect place for that because literally in every single borough, you're going to have some organization, you're going to have some company, you're going to have some nonprofit or nonprofit organization that wants hungry students, that wants career driven students to help them out with their everyday uh, SOPs. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, Romello, you know, one thing I've observed at St. Francis is that you are so open to helping prospective students, Definitely. even if uh, if you're not sure if they'll join St. Francis yeah. or not. Oh, just yeah. the just the value you create yes. for international students is amazing. So yes. thank you so much for everything you do at, yes. the, at the admissions office. Well, listen, all right, like I said, I was an alumnus of St. Francis. Everything is just painted forward. So there was a lot of different conversations. There were a lot of different talks I didn't get to have with my parents or the people in my high school or even the people in my middle school. So I wasn't uh, as knowledgeable when it came to all these different topics. But now that I know what I know, 
I'm going to I'm going to pay it forward any way I know how. And it starts with admissions. And then even after that mission. So thank you so much for giving me the time. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, folks. So this was part one of the video. Good luck and make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Again, I'm Ashish Fernando, your global survival guide.